In 1030 AD, the armies of Thor and Odin gave battle to the King of Christ. Olav the Holy had returned from Gardarike, modern-day Russia. As he went, he gathered to him mercenaries, robbers and any who would follow him back to Norway to reclaim his throne that he previously lost to Knut the Mighty of Denmark. He met a mighty host of peasants, situated in Stiklestad. The king, Kong Olav, deployed on a hill and the peasants met him on a plain below. Both of them had their flanks protected by a river, but Olav had the stronger position in terrain and had the more experienced troops. The peasants were a conglomerate of the household troops of different lords and earls of the country and they were said to be a vast host, at least 15,000 in number, and while modern accounts bring this into question, it's fairly certain that the peasant host was, was significantly larger than the ragtag army that King Olaf brought to Norway. Now, King Olaf was a hated man, he had tried to christen Norway, and done so in a violent and bloody fashion. He was king only in name. He was not a king of the people. The people hated him and they were required by law to kill him for what he had done to the people. Now as Olav surveyed the vast host, he did not fear them because Christ was on his side and he fashioned a battle cry for his men. Forward men of Christ! Forward men of the cross! Forward men of the king! When they cried, they charged. They charged into the left flank of the peasant host. The peasant host was in disarray because they had taken up the, char the, the cr war cry of the Norwegian king and their own comrades started attacking them. This created confusion and much disarray on the peasant flanks and they were soon overwhelmed by the elite household troops of the earls of the king. The peasants could not stand before them and the housecarls and the hitmen mad with lust, hacked their way through the opposing peasants. But they grew over eager. They pursued the peasants off the field and left the center of the king's army exposed. Now the peasants in the center charged, mad with rage. Most of the peasant army would be levies, bundar, with very light equipment. But wherever the great men and the earls went, they brought with them a retinue of hirdmen with great experience in war and good equipment. The fighting was hard and many fell on both sides, but the peasant host had the advantage in numbers and when the initial charge from the king's host was blunted, the king's men started falling and the king found himself alone. The king was felled by an axe to the thigh, a sword to the neck and finally a spear to the abdomen. After his death he was crowned Rex Perpetuus Norvegia the eternal king of Norway, and sainted. Although his military campaign in Norway was a disaster, he lived forever as the eternal king of Norway.